I'm often asked how to become a model. I would like to share with you my experience on how I became a model. Back in 2015, I was approached by a photographer who was a little bit pickled. He asked if I would model for him with my daughter and I didn't think he was serious. I wasn't expecting it. I went to the shoot with my daughter and felt really insecure, uh, kind of like I was hiding behind her. My daughter is a model, was a model, and I just was not ready for that experience. It was fun. Uh, but didn't think anything would come, didn't even want anything to come from that. But my advice to you probably would be just to practice as much as possible in front of the camera. That was 2015. Rolling on to 2017, the end of the year, I was invited to London to cast for number one Rosemary Water and I got the job. I was in British Vogue eight times in the first year. I probably told you that before, but it is awesome. Then, um, having had that experience, which was completely different and I was totally ready for, I felt like a queen. I embraced everything, I did everything I was told to do and it was just the right time for me. What I didn't know was that when I went to visit agencies with my fantastic pictures from uh, Vogue was that they weren't enough. I thought, mm, they're gonna love me, but no. I had to go away and get photographs of different genres, different styles, street style, uh, glamour, whatever. So, I came back to Dubai, approached an agency that holds uh, photographers, makeup artists and stylists and we did test shoots of different sorts. This is for everybody's portfolio, so everybody has their input rather than going to a job where you are doing something specific for the client. So step one, if you're starting out, would be to reach out to photographers who hopefully have got contacts with stylists and makeup artists and start building your portfolio. Because if you go to an agency, that is what they're gonna to want to see, your portfolio. The next step, if you're accepted by an agency, will be to go to castings. People tend to wear all black. Uh, it depends what you're doing that day, whether you're wearing all black or not, but it is, it looks a bit better if you're all wearing, if you're wearing all one color. Especially if you're in your 50s, height doesn't seem to be a matter. And your figure really doesn't seem to matter as much because they want you specifically probably for your gray hair um, or for your wrinkly face. <laughs> Go to as many castings as you can. Each one gives you a little bit more experience. You go in there, you do it, you get out. You're not going to be picked for everything. But I find that the, there isn't as much competition in, a, in our age group and that we're all quite friendly uh, because we are all very different uh, in our 50s, I think more so than your average 20 year old, average 30 year old. I did employ a wonderful lady here in Dubai called Andrea Zoya, who helped me a lot with confidence. I would stand in front of a camera, she'd be the other side of the camera and she would hand me items. So it could be a box of matches. Talk about that for one minute. Done. A pencil. Talk about that for one minute. You can do that 10, 20 times, but I tell you what, by the time you've got to the 20th item, you will kill it. I do believe later on in life that we can be more confident than we were in our earlier years. You know what you're about, you know what you have to offer, and you have a bit of experience behind you. Not necessarily modeling, but in life. The last thing I want to talk about, which if you want to become a model, you should already be thinking about, is to be confident. The camera will pick it up, and it will also know if you're happy or sad. Thank you.